Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This, this is a Adobe Illustrator a tutorial. I'm going to show you how to find Pathfinder. It's super simple and I'm going to give you actually also an overview of Pathfinder, how to use it, and just my, I'm just going to walk you through the process of using Pathfinder just from my own experience using it. There's so many ways of using this, so many other videos on YouTube about Pathfinder, but I'm just going to give you my own overview of Pathfinder, how to use it. So uh, what you can do first is if you can't find Pathfinder here, it's quite simple. Just go to window and here you should see Pathfinder. You can also enable this from here, windows, or you can also click on shift plus control plus F9 to enable Pathfinder. This is actually quite helpful if you want to enable Pathfinder very fast. You can use the shortcut Shift Control F9. Shift Control F9. All right, and we have Pathfinder right over here, just popped up. So, this is the uh, Pathfinder. Now, I won't give you any any terminology, any definitions for each model. I'm just going to show you how it works. Very simple. So I will click here on rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle here. The base color is white. I'm going to use red. And now what I'm going to do here is I would like to just uh, make the corners uh, rounded. And now I'm just going to hold Alt and duplicate this. And I'm going to click on or use V to select. So I can select and just change the color. All right. And now if I select both of this and I click on this, now this will just unify or connect both of these shapes. Or you can see here, unite or unite the shapes. <laughs> Um, you can also use alt click to create a compound shape and add uh, add to shape an area you know you can see here uh, so ba that's basically what it does it will just unite both of these shapes you have two shapes click on here and now you can unite and what why this is so powerful and why uh, and where in which situation this can be helpful well from my own experience is actually when I'm creating shapes logos just different forms Using this, you can um, you can create forms that you need uh, by using by uniting multiple forms. You can uh, create different uh, different shapes. So this is what you can do. Now, of course, you can change the color, change the color, and uh, that's basically it. But now, let's say me, you might have more. Right, you might have actually multiple shapes and uh, with different colors, of course. And if you highlight all of them, all the shapes you have, all the forms you have, and it doesn't matter if it's a cube, a sphere, all of the different shapes, forms you have, you can select all of them. And now let's move to the next one, which is minus front, which is that's what you're, what's going to do. It's going to minus front subtract uh, from the shape area so this this is what it's going to do it's just going to subtract uh, as you can see that portion and but I like this one which which will subtract let's say I have here actually two and right over here this will subtract this one um, or this one if you want to but of course now this can be very helpful if for instance you have two and you want to subtract this one and now you have uh, this shape which is very helpful because now you can transform this shape a different shape or whatever but that's helpful to create shapes as I said now this one extrude this is going to extrude that portion instead of adding it or removing it or just creating that shape we're just going to remove that shape all right now the second one we have bad finders this is going to as you can see create just um, 
what it's called more divide all the shapes and now you have one and if you don't know what it's doing then uh, you might say oh it's, it didn't do anything but actually it did and as you can see now you can just select all the shapes separately uh, so you have separated uh, shapes separated forms now you can move them so that's pretty cool now other thing that you can do now is to actually use the trim which if i select part and i click on here which this will trim and you have these forms now if you want to cut let's say this to create another shape you click on trim and now you have these forms uh this shape that maybe you want you can also experiment and just try maybe you want to uh build some sort of character you know or a logo this is very helpful but to be quite honest with you what i use is usually just the this uh, i use the the shape builder usually but uh pet finders can also be helpful in other situation but yeah now we also have merge which of course will just uh, merge and now as you can see if you click on merge it's going to merge that portion so yeah that's helpful as well now select both of this and click on crop we'll just crop but it was still going to have the stroke now let me undo if you want to undo you can click on undo move here or also control use control z which is way faster to use this shortcut and let me undo all the work here place a space on your keyboard if you want to pan around and now uh wait a second um gonna select this one and just duplicate this one and now if you click on here this is going to take the outline and now the last one is just going to minus back which is this is actually the last one the it's underneath all of this um, shapes so that's how you, i use pathfinder now i hope you found this demonstration helpful uh, i hope you're more familiar familiarized with so now i hope you are more familiar with this software so thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you have any suggestions for the next uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorial, let me know in the comments section. And I will, I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care.